Welcome to Beside the Burn for Wednesday the 14th of September. We're going to read two chapters again today, uh, so we've got a lot to get through. But to set the scene, we are in the middle of the seven trumpets being sounded. We've heard six of the trumpets so far. We've said that each one of those trumpets is God's warning call to the earth of impending judgment and of Christ's return. And it's an opportunity to repent and turn back. Now, you may remember whenever we were reading through the seven seals, there was a pause as we were told about the 144,000 in the white robes who were coming to salvation. And here we also have a pause between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet. We're going to reach the seventh trumpet at the end of chapter 11 today. But before that, we've got a little interlude where there is an angel and a scroll And then there are two witnesses. And what we're going to see first of all with this angel and the scroll, that the angel is bringing a scroll with the message of salvation. Remember we had that scroll with the seven seals on it. So the angel brings this little scroll with the message of salvation on it. And it's given to John and John eats it and it's sweet and it's a lovely flavour. But then it turns sour in his stomach. And what has happened there is that he hears the wonderful, he he reads the wonderful words of grace and the gospel and salvation. And that's sweet. But then he realises that he has to tell that message to the world. And whenever you tell that message to the world, it also involves the judgment and these trumpets being sounded and the warnings from God and the punishment that is coming on those who will not turn. And that's when the scroll turns sour in his stomach that he has to, he doesn't want to tell people this message. He doesn't want to have to go and condemn people. And yet that is part of the gospel message. And so he has to share it. So let's read together from chapter 10. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. He was robed in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like fiery pillars. He was holding a little scroll which lay open in his hand. He planted his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land and he gave a shout like the roar of a lion. When he shouted, the voices of the seven thunders spoke. And when the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven say, seal up what the seven thunders have said and do not write it down. Then the angel I had seen standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven. And he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and all that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, there will be no more delay. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me once more. Go take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach star, your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then I was told you must prophesy against again about many peoples, nations, languages and kings. So there's that sweet gospel message that turns sour when you have to tell people of the impending doom. And then verse, or chapter 11, we have the two witnesses and we finally have the seventh trumpet being sounded. I was given a reed like a measuring rod and was told, go and measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshippers. But exclude the outer court. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. 
they will trample on the holy city for 42 months and I will appoint my two witnesses and they will prophesy for a hundred, uh, 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees and the two lampstands and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying and they have power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, nation, language will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts because these two prophets had tormented those who live in the earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. At that very hour, there was a severe earthquake and a tenth of the city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. The third woe is coming soon. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah and he will reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake and a severe hailstorm. So you see, once again, here we have the same things happening as were happening at the end of the seven seals. So it's a little clue that this is the same period of time happening over again. Just as the prayers of the saints were thrown down with thunder and earthquakes and rumblings and 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 lightning so here at the end of the judgment this is happening as well so let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the warnings that you have given us we thank you lord that you send your warnings of what is going to happen and we pray that people would hear the warnings and respond to you we know lord that many are going to harden their hearts against you but we pray that all so many would turn and trust and that they would find the salvation from that's contained within the scroll and they would come and trust in you. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>